Hello everybody. So we finally got the quick video out. Um, some of you may have seen the preview that I did last weekend, slap bang in the middle of quick. Um, had so much footage that I've just been trying to get it all organized and edited to make it enjoyable and hopefully not too boring. Um, this year we saw so many boats, didn't we? There were- Oh, there's tons more boats. So it felt like there were a lot more boats uh, this year than in the previous two yeah. years, I think first year because of COVID, but then it seemed to be a lot more than last year. Definitely. So, so we tried to get on as many boats as possible. Um, last year we had a few comments mm. that we hadn't been on in many wide beams. So we really tried to, yeah. I think we got on all but two of the wide beams that were there this year. Yeah, I mean, it, was just, it just wasn't physically possible to get around all of the boats. No. And, and we, so we've tried to show as many bo boats as we can. Yeah. We? What I've done for this video is um, shown a few of the boat tours, little tasters of the boat tours. And then I've actually um, just working on finishing editing a full boat tour video for those of you that are interested in seeing more of the boat tours. You also did the winning and running up. Oh yeah, yeah. So I did a standalone video as well, um, just of the winning boats, the favourite boating show and the runner up boats in show. So there's that as well. So it may look like there's a lot of quick videos coming from us, but that's because I've just had so much footage it's really. It's the never ending Crick 2023 yeah, show. So, yeah. um, but I hope you enjoy it. We've been sort of working hard on getting it out there as soon as possible. Yeah, we had a great time as we well, did. didn't we? Absolutely and wonderful. I think one of the things I want to say thank you to uh, everybody that came to say hello. We had loads of people come say hello. L lots of people that are having boats built, some that were looking for inspiration, some that watched the channel. And, and lots of people wanted... that just love boats and yeah, being around yeah. boats so it was great so thanks everybody that did come say hello we love the comments on the vlogs as well yeah, don't we? so yeah. please keep them coming it was so um, lovely to put some faces to names that we just see in comments isn't it and yeah it's quite yeah, an anonymous yeah, yeah. thing doing youtube isn't it it is and a lot of people coming up saying well, it's like they know us because yeah. they've seen us on the tv but we don't know them but um anyway so please do do keep your comments coming and hopefully we'll see you on at next year's show if we didn't catch you this time. And a big thanks to all the volunteers and everybody that got the show off the ground. It was so well organised. You'll see in this video, we've done right from the start to right to the very end, how it how the show came to life and then how it just got all taken down. So hope really you enjoy good. it. Make sure you give us a like and leave a comment. Please and, do subscribe uh, if you haven't done already. Yeah, we're almost at 8,000 now. We've got, we need about, I think, eight more subscribers to get yeah. to 8,000. Yeah. So please do it. Do it. So, hit, hit the subscribe. Thank Thanks. you very much. Bye bye. bye. We arrived in Crick a week before the boat show. We had a mooring at Crick Wharf Marina, which is just over the road from the main Crick Waterside Marina, which hosts the show every year. It was really interesting being here to see the show come to life, watching them build the temporary bridge over the canal and seeing the historical boats waiting to go into the show. We took a walk along the towpath and saw where they were marking out where the moorings were for people that had reserved spots for the duration of the show. Our friends Paul and Anthony arrived at the wharf in time for the launch of their new boat. That was expertly done, Paul. You can see here how perfectly placed Quick Wharf Marina is just across the road from the show. You can see the build process of Paul and Anthony's new Oakham's boat on their YouTube channel Narrowboat Life Unlocked. It was so exciting to be there to see her launch. She was going to be the Oakham's showboat at the quick show. After launching at North Kilworth Marina, they cruised her down to Crick. It was the first time I'd been on an electric boat and it was amazingly quiet. It 
It was great having this behind the scenes glimpse into the preparations for the show. And back at the wharf, more of our friends were arriving. Nix is coming, Poppy. She's going to play with Nix. Poppy and Nix from Narrowboat Spudley were so excited to see each other. And Westie friends Angus and Isla came over to visit too. Paul had just finished a fabulous drawing of the two of them. Happy birthday dear to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> preview tickets to be able to see as many boats as possible without the enormous crowds. Our first stop was with our own boat builder, Russell's Narrowboats. It was their first time bringing a boat to the show. And this one is almost exactly the same fit out and layout as ours, just in a different colour, with some very thoughtful additions. boats on show were competing for the favourite boat in show award voted by the public. We've done a separate video of the full tours of all of the boats that we went on but here's a little taster of some of them. Braid Bar was celebrating their 40th birthday with their 200th boat which was built for their owners and named after their dog.
not very really nice boat. And we did a complete survey of it. We created a CAD model like this. And we made all of this in our factory. And then that's what you're now going to see. Wow. Brilliant. After seeing many of the shiny new boats and casting our boat, we headed over to the historical boats area. <laughs> 
and we toured the beautiful Lily by Steve Ellis, which was fitted out in the old traditional style. Gears forward, yeah. and, the and the benefit of the throttle and the uh, separate noise making dial that one. So you can put yeah, so one bridge on there, bad, so that'll yeah. go across there. Yeah. So there's your prop shaft. Yeah, Look at the condition of that. And draw it. Yeah. Okay. Well, unfortunately, they're not allowing us to start the engine. Bumpity bump, bumpity bump, bumpity bump, and out through the chimney, the smoke comes out in circles. Every, every every part you can still get, even down to the, the seals, the gaskets. Ten was it? 2002 the hull was built. It's a water, but if you notice the vents. doubles as a breakfast bar and the previous owner uses an earning board. Can you feel the weight of that? And that is what this boat is about, your reaction. Oh yeah. wow. This is all Corian, but if you see the thickness of it, it's proper thick Corian. so many other boat vloggers at the show, many of which have now become good friends.
uses only works when you move the brush. When you move it up and down, around and around, you get a bit more supply from the equalizer. And then when you stop, you stop. That. It feels a bit big. Does it? Yeah, I think I've got a small Looks head. Good, though. It says one size fits all, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> this one fits better. Not me, is it? Oh, it's
should be over the next week or two, yeah. you'll still get like a quick discount. But we've predicted the cushion as well, that will include whether you have it. Hi, we're here with Hall Green Greyhound Trust and we're trying to promote greyhounds as boat dogs and our trust will actually home dogs to boats and we'll find the right dog for you and your boat. That's fantastic, thank you. If you want a closer look inside the winners and runners up then check out this video. I'll put a link below.
stuff on sticks. Stuff on sticks. <laughs> <laughs> We got time on our side when I stayed on home. I saw you. 